What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So Spider-Man PS5 Mars Morales, I mean September, has to be its month for this game, okay? We are in for something really, really, really cool. Definitely, without a single doubt, but I want you guys to get in the comments below and let me know how hyped up you are for this game on a scale 1 to 10. And as you are also aware, the whole 9 like and leaving the video at 9 likes only kind of thing has become a meme, so let's try and make this video reach 20 likes only but then what I want you to do is if you see this close to 20 likes or at 20 likes as a whole then just go ahead and print screen it and you'll get featured in the next video just send me over a tweet it's like I said become a meme now but nonetheless it's a challenge that we must continue. Now, diving into the video, we have something really cool to start it off. So, kicking it off, what you see in the background is indeed a case for Marvel's Spider-Man, Miles Morales, except it's a guy who made it all by himself. But, as you can clearly see, it is super cool because it's not just a cover. Now, the dude went to the extent to even do the back of the case, as you can see, and even that I thought personally was a really, really cool touch, is that he done the inside of the case too which again you can see just looks super super cool now I want to give a big shout out and credit to TCMF games as he is the dude who made this so what I'm going to do is link the original video in the description below and I want you guys to go ahead and check it out and just send some support his way but most importantly when you watch that video right and you just see like the attention to detail that he's done with this purely just fan made right without hardly anything that we've got from the, the devs in general I just think is really really cool and it just kind of gives you that you know how the game is going to feel in the flesh kind of feel right and I know there's also been a lot of speculation and when I say speculation I, I mean more opinions is probably the, the better word to use and that's basically how this game case looks and I know it sounds crazy but if you didn't know the game essentially is going to have a white case which is basically like the PlayStation 4 case except where it's blue now it's going to be white now in my personal opinion I have to say they should have just made it red it would have fit way much better but again that's just an opinion but nonetheless I think it's so cool that fans have actually just dedicated enough well I think fans are just dedicated enough in general but to then go to the next level to be dedicated enough to do such cool things like this whole concept but most importantly as well we've also seen people claim there are leaked startup screens for this game but they're actually also fan made as well which which is also super cool I just think is a great thing as a whole now of course this is our last week of August so it's safe to say that gameplay for this spider-man Miles Morales game is incoming for September for sure now when I say for sure I'm like 99% sure that we're definitely gonna get some new footage on this game even if it's a gameplay trailer we're gonna see something brand new now insomniac games have been pretty quiet despite the news on the DualShock controller that we got the other day and just to kind of bring you up to date on that if you didn't hear about that info it's basically just how PlayStation 5's controller of course because it's got this whole dual shock sense and so forth they're gonna really utilize that in the sense of making us the players really feel like spider-man so we're gonna be feeling all types of things that of course spider-man would feel so as if you were him now not only that but Brian the creative director actually mentioned something called a venom punch now the way he just dropped it in there is as if we're meant to just know how that would look in this game so I'm pretty positive that something big is inbound now to give perspective on the release date of course they did say holiday 2020 we don't exactly have a day pinpointed but nonetheless holiday 2020 which give or take is well it would make it November right so in terms of the gameplay do you think we're going to get the standard mission based gameplay I, I guess showcase right as a whole or do you think we're gonna get some pretty cool free roam gameplay now I'd like to think that they will show off the free roam aspect and more of the world within this game especially due to the whole different weather conditions as well that we see in this game and I guess you just want to show off the next-gen graphics as well right so I think it would literally be so refreshing to see that and just cool overall so that's why I'm really really feeling that next month is going to be the month but another reason I'm 
I'm a strong believer of September in general being the month for this game is purely down to the competition with Marvel's Avengers game. Now, I honestly reckon that it will be quiet for maybe the first week of September and then they will just start to market this game. I'd like to think with such a short amount of time left that they wouldn't make it any longer to promote this game, but again, they are Insomniac games and we do already know what they are capable of, so in some sort of perspective, they could technically start the marketing for the game literally a month before, but I just got this whole weird feeling that they want to, I, I guess, be the number one, right? And as far as competition goes for it being the same year of release, then that would instantly make Marvel's Avengers a target for them, and we all know that it would just instantly snatch that limelight from them as well. But you guys get any comments below, because I've seen so much speculation as well regarding this game. Yesterday, I've done a poll stating you know if you could play one game forever what would it be and it was out of the Avengers game Spider-Man PS5 and then of course the Gotham Knights game and a lot of people are actually being a lot wiser and going for the Marvel's Avengers game purely because in some perspective it's gonna have a longer life to it as well and you never know with it going to next gen as well I don't personally know like what limitations they did have with the current gen consoles so it's gonna be interesting because I've always speculated this in a, in a few videos before as well that them literally just moving the game over to the next gen consoles could literally be a massive game changer as in like almost a brand new game on a new console new golden doors opening and so forth but again we can only wait and see but as far as competition goes it's really between spider-man and mars morales um spider-man mars morales sorry and marvel's avengers game that's really where we stand but guys Get any comments and leave your thoughts on all of that. It's time to get hyped up. It's also the final week until, well, next week's our release, okay, for the Marvel's Avengers game, all right? So next Tuesday, we will be able to get our hands on that game. So exciting times, but guys, also don't forget, I am doing a giveaway with Instant Gaming where you can win a game of your choice. Now, if you haven't entered that, like I said at the beginning of the video, if I did, I'm not 100% sure, but just visit the link in the description below. There's like six or seven days left for it. And you can literally just, you know, pick a game of your choice and the console that you want it on and then enter into that competition. So definitely check that out. They also do a ton of dirt cheap games, which is really, really cool. And also, if you didn't know, we do have a playlist dedicated for all these Spider-Man videos as well. So if you're just jumping on the hype train and want to bring yourself up to date, you can check out those videos right from the beginning where we start getting, I guess, small little teasers for it all the way up to the leaks and then where we are as it stands. Don't also forget there is still that rumor that hasn't been debunked yet as to whether or not we'll get a Spider-Man PS4. Well, it's basically Spider-Man PS4 remastered that we're meant to be getting on Spider-Man. Uh, sorry, we're meant to be getting on Spider-Man. We're meant to be getting on a PlayStation 5, okay? Which is crazy because in some sort of perspective, this is meant to be coming out with this game as well. And again, this is a rumor that hasn't yet been debunked, so it would just be a remastered of Spider-Man PS4 which I think would be cool nonetheless because don't forget this game is not Spider-Man 2. So I guess we can only wait and see and for Insomniac Games to come out and say something. But guys, I'll see you in the next video. That's going to wrap up this one. Until the next one, have yourselves a ridiculously amazing day and adios amigos.